a News 2 I-Team investigation. The funding has been in place for years, so homeowners want to know why a project to enhance their neighborhoods isn't being built. They called our I-Team and we sent News 2 investigator Rebecca Collette to get answers. The project that those homeowners called me about would come off of Tanner Ford Boulevard, which is right here to my right, and go all the way behind me down this easement to a new school that's planned in this area. What I found is this project isn't the only one in the low country being delayed. I found a dozen other projects in delays right now, and with every delay, it costs you extra in tax money. The idea for a sidewalk through Tanner Plantation seemed like a good idea to Michael Sally. I got together with the high school engineering students and we presented a plan to Hanahan City Council for a comprehensive trail system. That was a decade ago. We really are that kind of community where parents go on walks and kids ride their bikes to school. Michael, who is now a city councilman, never expected the project to take this long, especially after the DOT awarded the city more than a quarter of a million dollars for the project in 2011. Since then, Gary Greenman pulled together the Tanner Plantation HOAs to agree to the project. Once we gave them easement onto our properties, then that kind of relieved our responsibilities and that gave them the okay to now they could go forward with it. With everyone on board, he wants an explanation why the project is still non-existent. They've given us deadlines numerous times for and all them deadlines have come and gone. That's why he called me and that's how I met Michael Sally. The delays are frustrating, but when you're using grant money, you've got to play by their rules. So we're trying to jump through the hoops that we need to do to get the money to lay this trail. Hanahan isn't alone. Through our records request, we learned there are a dozen community enhancement projects funded by the SEDOT since 2009 that still aren't built. Three in Berkeley County, four in Charleston County, five in Dorchester County. Bottom line, it's just one more red tape after red tape after red tape. And construction costs, material, and labor keep on going up. Funding for this trail, for example, increased from $257,000 to $386,000 last year. Michael says bids to install the sidewalks along Tanner Ford Boulevard came back more than 160% over budget, bringing the trail to its most recent delay. Engineers tweaked the project, the DOT approved it last week, and the city put it out for bids Monday. Michael's hopeful. My kids rode their bikes to school, and it's a great community when that kind of thing happens. And this trail is going to allow for that tradition to continue in hand to hand. Once the city gets back those bids and the project is ready to be built, it will only take about three months. The project is less than a mile worth of sidewalks. I've put some web extras online for you right now, including some information that the city provided, as well as a flow chart that shows you just how complicated it is to work through these projects with the DOT. In Hanahan, I'm Rebecca Collette for the News 2 I-Team.